Hello, Toastmasters. It was 7 to a.m. Everything was as it should be. I looked out of the window. There was something different. It was raining. It was something different. It can't be California. It was raining. And then I looked at myself. I had wrinkles all over my hand. I had a gray hair. Something was different. I thought I had gone wrong here. I couldn't figure it out. What happened? And it was 7 to a.m. Other than these two, everything looked normal. I was on my same couch, the same leather couch, same house, a little battered things. And I said, okay, probably something is not right. And then I called my daughter. Abhita, Abhita, please come down. It's time to go to school. As you show, I shouted again. No response. Wondering, what's that? Why isn't she coming down? I mean, I know she doesn't always come down, but that's what goes on. Then I suddenly took my iPad and I started texting her. Advita, please come down. She's four year old. And immediately I didn't respond. Come on, Daddy. It's not your time. Why are you please why are you also old fashioned in calling me? And why are you so old fashioned in texting me? And she came down and there was something again different. She was not four years anymore. She was 24. And there were a few other things that I noticed. Her fingers were small. All her fingers were very small. I was wondering what happened. Why is your fingers so small? I mean, your thumb was probably one tenth of the size. And she said, What happened? What happened to your fingers? Daddy, where have you been? This is human evolution. This is how our fingers turn into when you use your mobile devices for it's a long period of time. We adapt to the technology. See? Now this is very easy for us to use our iPads and all those things. And then I saw similarly she had glass and no eyes. What's that? Again, the same same explanation. And then I said, I couldn't understand anything of what was happening there. And I said, okay, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Okay, honey, what are you doing now? And she said, I'm going to have a breakfast. And she went to the kitchen. She bought the bone and she ate it. That's my breakfast. It had cereals, it had fruits, it had all the vitamins that I need for my breakfast. Wow, interesting. I mean, it would have prevented so much of trouble from doing all the bread and slicing and, and, and uh, using the butter for that. And then finally, she said, honey, we need to meet for lunch today. And she said, no, Daddy, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. I need to go and meet my friend. OK. She wants me to try me? Said, Come on again, Dad. Where are you? I'm not. My friend is in DC. I'm actually having a private shoot that I'm going to go there and come back. So we just changed. We just changed. And then finally I asked her, I heard some noises yesterday. What were that? And she replied, Daddy, I, I'm sure whether I should tell you this. <laughs> but I, I mean, since you're not asking me that, I don't think I can refuse it. Actually, I had Adam over last, day, last evening at our house. And since you were sleeping, I just sneaked past you. It was a shock. I was just wondering. I didn't know how to react. Coming from Indian culture, getting married in the same community is very important. And she was even here, it was Adam. I'm sure that sounded good in sort of an Indian name, definitely not an Indian name. I said, so where is he now? And she said, I know he's upstairs in the bedroom actually. There was an, I was just waiting for you to go to the office and then I could bring him down. Said, no, no, please do bring him down. I want to see him. <laughs> I want to meet him. And then I said, okay, daddy. And then she goes up, brings Adam. And that's a small humanoid that comes. <laughs> Hello, Uncle. I'm Ella. I'm your daughter's girlfriend. Well, I mean, iPad is okay, fingers are okay. <laughs> but this was a leap meant better for me. And then at last, I heard a voice. Honey, can you please get the formula from the baby? That's when I woke up. I realized, look at my wife lying on the side. My toddler, one year, was there. 
And my daughter ran with that four year, but he was lying next on the crib. I heaved a sigh of relief, and that's when I was so happy to be in the present. That's when I realized present is a gift to live. Thank you. Thank you.